Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is August 10th, 2014. I'm here with my buddy, Mr. Anonymous, and my other guys. I have a lot of friends in this world, thankfully, and uh, these guys always remind me of that whenever I feel like I'm not. But today's kind of a, a message that I'm actually asking for my roommate who rents a room here. He's a wonderful person, John Drees. Um, if any of you followed on xscientology.net, he wrote a bunch of his life story under uh, John D. Yeah, that's his nickname there. Anyway, he wrote a bunch and then he stopped. The deal is this. He started getting uh, lung cancer when he was, I think it was about three years ago, in 2011. He got lung cancer. He did chemo. He did radiation. It was very hard for him. Um, and uh, then, it, then it, it went away. You know, it seemed like it was gone. And um, I, we had a long talk, and he started picketing, and he started writing a story, and he started, he, he's always been a gardener. He's a big gardener. You've seen pictures of his garden. If you've ever looked at John Dries uh, on Facebook, he's got photographs of his fabulous garden. He's an amazing guy. He's very smart. He was originally in the Sea Organization in Scientology for 10 years. And I've tried to get him to do some, we, he, we did some videos a few years ago. We did. Because he's, he's smart and he really knows a lot of stuff. And he's got a lot to say. Anyway, now he's a little bit different. It, it did go away for two years. He did really well. And then it's come back with a vengeance. I mean, it's just incredible. So the other day, I mean, he's now on oxygen. Anybody who is in Scientology, if you guys are sneering about it, that just shows how pathetic you are. He may have a physical disease, but you who are laughing about it have a mental disease. And I know other people are like, who would laugh about that? But you know what? They're pretty pathetic. It's like, oh, he's so downtown. That's what happened. You know, or he's connected to Tori. That's why he's sick. You know, they have all these like, oh. And, it, you know, it's that was part of my waking up was listening to these people in 2000 at my birthday party. And I thought, oh, my God. He, there was one person who was not a Scientologist. And I thought if I had an island to go to, I'd pick her. Because she was the only person that wasn't just going, they're this, they're that, da 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 you know, which is what they do in the church, of, the church, non-church, of Scientology. Anyway, he was in the C organization for 10 years. He was a wonderful cramming officer, correction guy. He was fabulous. I had him when I was, a, you know, very young, new in, you know, we'd trained in auditing and then we, our stuff would go up to Ray Midoff at the time and he would write these big flunks and these big long crams and we'd all be in the bathroom crying you know we were like you know the PC did really well I mean this isn't fair and we'd go they'd say well go see John and we'd go see John he'd be sitting in there and we'd say look this isn't fair you know the, the PC did really well in this session I mean why are we having to do this big long thing and he looked at it and he'd go Shh. and this was in like the early 70s he would just tear it up throw it in the wastebasket and he'd say all right what do you think you need and you'd tell him and he'd write out a little crown for what you needed. I mean, it was really pretty outstanding, especially in that age, because pretty much nobody did that kind of thing. So he was very dear to my heart way back then. And he has been all through my adult life. He's been a very good friend of mine. His, um, his ex-wife was a very good friend of mine who stayed in. My ex-husband stayed in. So anyway, when I got out, he thought what I, I thought I'll call John. He was the only person I knew in L.A. that was out that I knew was out. Turned out there's a zillion people that are out, but I didn't know that. So I called him and he wouldn't call me back because he thought I was trying to get him on OT7. I was like, no, I'm not in the Scientology. I'm not faking. I'm not anything. I'm out. So anyway, we finally became fast and furious friends and we'd go out and see his stepson out in Malibu and hang out there. And, you know, we've just been good friends for many, many years. And then he rented a room here about six years ago and uh, he started building his garden and he's got a little shop and he's built all kinds of fabulous stuff, including the table. If any of you saw those on Facebook, there's pictures of it on my Facebook and on his. Um, but anyway, now he's having a very, very difficult time. And I said to him yesterday, I went in to check on him and I said, how are you doing? And he said, mm, OK. And I said, would you like me to make a little video and, you know, just ask people to Pray for you, send wishes, anything for, you know, a, a peaceful, you know, gentle resolution to this, whatever that may be. And at first he said, no, you know, it, he, he, I just said, would you like me to make a video about people to send prayers or wishes? And he said, no. So I started to walk out. I said, okay. 
And then as I walked out, he said, you know, I actually could use as much prayers or wishes as anybody could send. And so I today I said, uh, all right, I'm going to make the video. So here it is. So that's the story, Morning Glory. And to all of you, if you could just send, you know, your wishes, your prayers. I don't know where they go. I really don't. But I do kind of believe in them. I always have. And whether they really help or not, we don't know. We're, you know, we'll know when we're there. But in the meantime, I do think it helps helps us. It helps them. I think it helps a lot of things. I do. And whether you call it a prayer or a wish or something, a postulate when you're in Scientology, an intention, you know, something. But for a peaceful and a resolute, um, you know, finale to this, you know, where, where things wrap up the way they are going to wrap up, but in a very peaceful and healthy and as healthy as it can be. And, um, but with dignity and out of pain and that's it. And so anyway, there you go. Thank you for listening to this and thank you for caring and thank you for being there. And, uh, let's hope I love you. Peace out.